beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy any time we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to that. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so on you and you here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed Hallelujah. Let's keep praying powerful words, transforming words. Lord, there are more possibilities in you. And I open my heart, even as your servant has shared, my heart is open for more. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's bless the Lord for it, Jimmy. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. You see, let me tell you something about spiritual growth. The one who seeks growth does not choose his diet. Are you getting what I'm saying? It is arrogance to want to rise to a dimension. And then want to choose what you want to eat. Have you seen parents force children? The child says, I want sweet. The mother says, you need pap. You see, let me tell you something. Um, while I sat down listening to him share these things, I was only hoping, hoping that we don't get familiar and just recite it back, but truly believe it. It's painful to have revelation that does not transcend into results in your life. It's frustrating. Because no man can correct you. You already know what you need. But the grace to make it work. This issue of transformation, you've, you've seen us drum this thing again and again. You know, I was almost, honestly, it's just, I'm just up here to lead us to pray. Because for me, I think that this you will never hear it enough. It didn't take two services for you to get the wrong ideologies that are fighting your destiny. It will not take just a sermon. It will take repetition of new ideas. Repetition. 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 I was just thinking while on my way coming, I was saying, oh God, I pray that whatever is being shared before your people, they would listen they would believe please hear me the person who ever makes you think what you are being taught here is a small issue has cheated you in your small way not even an armed robber has cheated you that way if you steal my money or you steal wallet or hack my account you've not done anything to me but if you make me think in a certain way and navigate my life towards destruction you really have destroyed me 
Are we together? People have lost their legs. People lost cars. People lost houses. They lost businesses. But something active within them reproduced those possibilities again. But let me tell you the truth. You can have everything but a bankrupt mentality and you will move no further than you are there. I'd like you to pray in one minute and say, Lord, this mind thing, I will give it no rest till I am radically transformed. Please pray. Never trivialize it. This is the key. Don't wait to listen to this message. After 10 years of misery, 10 years of trying, guessing, Brothers and sisters, I tell you the truth. This is how it works. It is the key. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for. Affect my life, breathe on me. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. Hallelujah. Let me tell you what is happening to many of us. You are sitting in a destiny time bomb. You know how someone sits in a time bomb? When you keep pumping a balloon, a time comes it cannot contain itself. The air you are putting in is too much for that space. And it will tear open. The sons of the prophet told the prophet, he said, where we meet with you is too small. You have enlarged our capacity beyond this level. Very soon, your level will start rejecting you. Something you are receiving, listen, is creating a reaction. You will not pray for it again something about your current level will start pushing you let me tell you how the pushing will come it will come through criticism those around you can no longer stand it they say no 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 i'm i'm pretending it but now i can't take it again new opportunities certain things will have to stretch and push you you are sitting on a time bomb and let me tell you something many of you will be remarkably shocked I get, I get text messages from people who once had the privilege to be in this environment and be changed. They call me all the time saying, how can I thank you? Thank God I paid attention to this truth. When you are lost, it is wise to listen to someone who has found his way. You see, most people do not even know what they need to succeed. But they will argue when they are given the keys. It's pride. It truly is pride. Let me show you a scripture. Acts chapter 13, verse 41. What a Jimmy shared just, it touched me. As though it wasn't me who preached it. 1341, please. You want to receive maximally from koinonia, be a child, be a child. This big manism, man of Godism, throw it out before you come in, be a child. When you are humble enough to be mentored and to be shown the way, your life will rise like an edifice. It says, behold, despise us and wander and perish. It says, for I will walk a walk in your days. A walk which she which ye shall in no wise believe, though a man declare it unto you. I am doing something in a man's life like a trophy. And he said, a time will come, I will walk a walk. That when people hear that it's the same you, Aaron, they will say, no, no, which Aaron? Aaron that I know. They said, is Saul also one of the prophets? When Samuel was talking to him, Saul did not argue. He was listening. Because Samuel was representing his future listen 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 not everybody is where you are so they were once where you are find out what was done to rise not every key opens every door that you are holding a key 
does not mean it can open every door some of us have left certain doors but where you are now you have never been there before so listen pay attention the key you have opened the door you already passed but now you're in a new territory you're in a new environment you know while i was coming back from my meeting i was just praying i said oh god how predictable life can be when you allow the holy spirit to guide you the bible says the lord is my shepherd this is how i read it if the lord is my shepherd if the lord is my shepherd there is something about the leadership of the spirit that you are filled with the holy spirit does not mean you have allowed him to lead you if the lord is my shepherd then i shall not want he makes me he makes me he makes me he doesn't suggest he makes me to lie down in green pastures he restores my soul he guides me in the path of righteousness and he does all of that for his namesake so people just see me in green pastures people see me restored but they don't know that there is a force but the issue is are you willing to be led there are many stubborn people who want to succeed you hear them venting arrogance flattering their mediocrity brothers and sisters let me tell you what you are receiving cheap like this was not received cheap a huge price was paid you can argue this but i guarantee you if it is kingdom impact you want after many years of confusion you will return back to the same road and god will say you would have followed it long before now but now that you've gone around by yourself a journey of 40 days can become 40 years depending on your willingness to let god lead you it was never in god's mind for the journey from egypt to the land flowing with milk and honey to be 40 years there are many people who are adding trouble on trouble every time you disobey the voice of god you multiply your pain every time you disobey the voice of god you multiply sorrow upon your life listen i'm i'm talking to you from the depth of my heart please don't argue with the things you are receiving here it is foolishness You see me talking my heart out because I do not want us to fail. When your Christian experience does not have the kind of result it has, it's not only God, men will curse you. Jesus looked at the fig tree, expected that within this time range, certain things should happen in your life. And the painful part is most of our loved ones are depending on this. This is what our parents ignored because the knowledge was not scarce. They ignored it. And we paid the price of their ignorance. And if you ignore it, you are transferring the same thing to a generation. Are we together now? It's very important. I will walk a walk in your days. You know, years ago, the Lord told me something. The training that the Lord took me through was so stringent and painful. And I remember one time I said, God, why are you doing this to me? And he said, listen, there are different vessels. There is the clay. There is the wood. There is the silver. There is the gold. Do you know the clay can choose how much it will be transformed? You can actually tell God, stop here. And peg the limit of your impact. But for me... Please don't stop, please don't stop Till I look just like you Please don't stop, please don't stop Till I look just like you God is doing something powerful in my life God is doing something mighty in my life he won't stop, he won't stop Till I look just like him He won't stop, he won't stop Till I shine just like him Listen, 
If you ever want to walk in the anointing, this is it. If you ever want a life of solid impact, you want to tame life as if the devil does not exist, this is the key. The predictability that God's word brings to our life. Nobody successful was born successful. Even if he inherited it, he was trained to receive it. Nobody successful was born successful. Prayer point number one. We are praying. Father, make my life a sign and a wonder. I will not interrupt you. Don't let the pain, don't let the painful experience make me stop you. Regardless of what I say, focus on my spirit. My flesh may be willing. Are we together? Lift your voice and pray. Through Joshua Selman, I will walk a walk through Koinonia. In and through my life. hallelujah please give us job 29 again let's let's go back to the scripture that ejimi shared powerful scripture job 29 please hurry up media give us from verse 3 3 let's read down to 6 just 3 verses from verse 3 when his candle shined upon my head and when by his light I walked through darkness. Verse 4, the result. As I was in the days of my youth when the secret of the Lord was upon my tabernacle. Uh -huh. When the Almighty was with me and when my children were round about me. Look at the results. When I washed my steps with butter and the rock poured out rivers of oil. Read on, continue. Now, this is what I'm looking for. Write down maybe to verse 10. When I went out to the gate through the city and I prepared my seat in the street, uh -huh, the young men saw me. And there was a reaction. What was the reaction? How can a man see another man and hide? The Bible said the nation shall see you and fear. There is a level you celebrate a man to a point you become afraid. You are like, no, 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 this, this one is not, I'm no longer clapping. He says the young men saw me, they hid. The only person you do this to is God. A man can become like God. The Bible says they saw Paul and Barnabas and they said, this Zeus and Hermes. On, they had to tear their clothes and say we are human beings. What is it that God can do to a man that can make a man become like God? That your words become like God. Men have to advise themselves not to worship you. Because your life becomes so notable and extraordinary. He says the aged saw me. A young man. When an elder stands up. Listen. Listen. When an elder stands up before a young man. is a symbol of honor. An elder stand up. The glory of the old is their gray hair. But there is something a man can do that can make his father stand up. And he said, no, daddy, sit down. He said, me? No, not when you are here. Please hear me. There is such a thing as honor based on your grasping of the laws of the kingdom. That the aged can see you. You are young, but wisdom has made you old. nine the princes you know the condition to be a prince trained in the palace trained in the art of royalty he said the princes refrain talking they laid their hands on their mouth this is not what they did this is what they did what a wonder. One more verse. The nobles had their peace 
and their tongue cleaves to they are still arguing with you because your results are not notable. So when you say, they say, let's look at another angle. There is a dimension of the workings of the spirit through a man that will silence every accuser, no matter how arrogant they are. When you are anointed, rich, blessed, influential, let me see the devil that will argue with you. Listen. The Bible says, and Job is one thing to be rich and not be anointed. They can mock you with the anointing. It's another thing to be anointed and broke. The rich can bless you. But when God decides to fortify the dimensions of your life with honor, no nation can come from any dimension. Kabaratosia. Lord, turn me into a sign and a wonder. Lift your voice and pray. a wonder Katalato a spiritual system that brings glory perpetually make sure you are praying turn me into a sign and a wonder God's portrait of wisdom God's portrait of grace. Shaba baba kataba la 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 la. Reke teke te mo shaba la box. Embe teke sheke te lekata. Embra tala bara soto ba ya la 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 la. Turn me into a sign and a wonder. Hallelujah. Galatians 1 verse 24 Galatians 1 verse 24 listen I want you to know that God is only glorified when the saints are glorified I was seated here and I saw a Jimmy's wife moving beautifully dressed that's the glory of the husband so you measure the responsibility and the honor of a husband by the reflection of his wife are we together? I want you to read that scripture wholeheartedly. One to read. One more time. Who was ultimately glorified? But who was the vessel? And they glorified God. When they saw the wisdom. They saw the excellence. When people said, ah, nobody can rise. And then you rise as if the devil does not exist perpetually smashing records that men say this cannot be done and you say no I don't know who the this is but the Bible says with God without him many things are not possible but with God and they glorify God I like you to pray and say Lord use me as a tool and a trophy for your glory lift your voice and pray I glorified God in koinonia and they glorified God. And they glorified God. By the result that flow from your life. By the result, the track record of an ending wonder. Upon another. Sabarada katabarada ba 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 ba. Glorified God in me, in me, son of a wonder. Hallelujah. 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 And they glorified God in me. Away with that, that rubbish thinking that God is not glorified when you rise. No. And they glorified God 
in me. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 14. This is our next prayer point. 1 Corinthians 2 14. God did something a few days ago in my life. It brought tears out of my eyes. See, eh? Brothers and sisters, I want you to hear me, Koinonia. If you walk with God, you will never be ashamed. If, listen, if you choose to be spiritual and you are not ashamed, see, I tell you, this man you see has gone. Believe me, this man you see has gone. I know what I'm saying. You don't hear me speak like this. There is, there is what God can do in your life. You know this flight has taken never to come down again forever. It says, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of God. For they are what? They are what? Another word for foolishness is nonsense. Neither can he know them because you must be spiritual to discern it. Listen, the things we do here are not intellectual at all. We break them down to give you the logic, but you have to be spiritual to walk with God. Many believers are too carnal to receive results. Are we together? We analyze spiritual things from a carnal point. Is it really true that by changing your mind, you t- no, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. You have to be spiritual. And you have to be spiritually minded. The Bible says, um, it says, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, right? Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Then it says, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus had set me free from the law of sin and death. Then he now says what the law could not do in that it was weak in the flesh and all of that. He says to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. There are too many believers that are carnal. Carnality is not just talking about fornication and drunkenness. No. Carnality is when you become so sensual that spiritual things look like a mockery to your intelligence. You are carnal. Go around Jericho seven times. I know what many of us would have done. Moses, stretch your rod. You say, no, no, no. We have building engineers. You didn't go to school for nothing. Let's begin to build a bridge and have donation let me tell you those who will survive in these times are those who i know you are educated and you are intelligent but brothers and sisters you must be spiritually minded this issue of saying no let's let's be serious let's be real let's be real if any man must ask me out let's be real i don't talk too much so i have to do facebook connection and and whatsapp and the rest to be carnally minded is there. Bring all your tithes, all these pastors, they just eat people's money. No, 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 sir. There are many people who are doing things that they don't really believe. It's not a conviction. They will only do it when everybody is around. But how you know you are spiritual is when you can do a thing supervised or not. Whether or not someone is watching you, you are tithing. Whether or not someone is watching you, you are... T- there, see, let me tell you, there's too much hypocrisy. That's why people don't get results. Believe what I'm telling you. Are we together? Listen to a message and transform your mind. Okay, sir. But you don't believe it. You don't believe it. And it never happens for people. Are we together? Wrong music, polluted music can plant seeds in your mind. Okay, sir, but we never do it. And so we junk all kinds of things in our spirits and wonder why the outcome is not. Let me tell you, those who get results are those who walk this thing genuinely under God. 
I'm not talking of perfection. I'm talking of sincerity and diligence. He said, now that you know these things, happy are ye if you do them. Are we together? I'd like us to pray. And you're going to say, Lord, this is my, this my scientific, over-exaggerated, um, um, analyzing your ways. I want to, I, I want, listen, listen. God says, I'm going to bless you. But then we, we have to pass God through our scientific system. Oh God, show me how it will happen. God, my God. Hi. Have you not learned in the Bible that it was foolish things that brought extraordinary results? That's why Jesus said, until you become like one of these little children. I'm telling you, many of us need to pray for grace to become like children. This adulthood has punished many of us. We are not malleable before God. We can't be children enough to receive. Every time the word of God comes, it meets a wall of arrogant argument to be spiritually minded. Is life and peace. I like you to pray and say, Lord, spiritualize my mentality. I'm, I'm tired of being carnal. Lift your voice and pray. Make me a spiritual man. Let me believe your word. Please make sure you are praying. If you simply anointing, then I believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be spiritually minded. Be spiritually minded. Be spiritually minded. Don't talk like a fool. There are people when you hear the way they speak, it's as if they don't know God. You speak like a Christian and go back and analyze things with utmost stupidity. We are talking about God here. The currency in heaven is the word of God. If I give you 1,000, hear me. If I give you 1,000 naira, I say, go and buy me something. You buy it. In heaven, God gives you his word and say, go and exchange it. And the Bible says, let it be done on earth. So go to heavenly currency. Take it and you are saying, Lord, I, I know, no. Will it work? The power that created the heavens. His word currency. If I give you this, I didn't speak, but you take it to a shop. Expecting a result. He says, so shall it be. My word that goeth forth. When I give you, when you say, Lord, bless me, he gives you his word. He says, if you take this word and believe it, take it and you will truly cash it. This is a word. Listen, let me tell you. My Bible says, he upholds all things. By the word of his power. Many people do not believe the word of God. You see this man standing before you. I have carried this word as my life. It's not an instrument for preaching. I have seen it and believed it. Verbatim unto death. That's what has brought the results that you see. The word of God. Stupid statements from the word of God. I believe you oh God. No, no, no. I will not argue with you. I don't need to know how it will happen. Let understanding follow, but my faith will believe now. Many of our parents have thrown the word of God to look for this. If I give you the word of God and I give you money, you will choose money. How foolish. How foolish. The word of God creates realities. Please believe me when I tell you this. A spiritual man is not a man that prays in tongues necessarily. A spiritual man is, a, is somebody who has submitted to the authority of the word of God to govern his life entirely. If God said it, Joshua Selman believes it. My goodness. Forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled. This word created the heavens and the earth. My life is too small for it not to create it. This word, when you believe it, quarter to shame, 
God will arise for you. This is what brought the anointing to my life. You see, let me tell you, many of us study the Bible so that we can quote scriptures and deceive ourselves. No, sir. When you open this thing and see things like, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, this is Jesus speaking, the works that I have done, he shall also do. Do you really believe it? He says, for by this faith, the elders obtained a good report. Through faith, we understand. You can understand through science. You understand through faith. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, everything you have spoken over my life, I believe. I don't know what made me doubt your word, but tonight I believe. Lift your voice and speak. Let but believe it. There is a blessedness of mockery. Let I cast away doubt. I cast away doubt. I'm a believer, a solid believer in a living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible is full of God's vow for your success. His vow. How many times did God swear by his name? By his name. He says your gates shall be continually open. That's what he said. Listen, many of ah, look, look, let me tell you. When, when you want to get results, please, I beg you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, stop running after men. I believe in destiny helpers, but it comes from above through men to you. It does not come from men. Every good and perfect gift comes from above, from above. I will lift up my eyes. Take the word of God. Lord, you said this. I can't be barren forever. Your word said this. They say I have no womb. That's what they said. They are practicing. Your word said that my children will surround my table. Listen, we are becoming fetish the more we ignore God's word. Believers are becoming fetish because they are looking for alternatives to God's word. Anything the word of God cannot do. I, I assure you, it will not be done. Are we together? Please take seriously what I'm saying. We really need to become spiritual men. Spiritual men are word addicts, not word quoters. Those who live by the word and even if they perish, that they perish with the word. And quarter to shame, you will see God alive to come and defend you. Jeremiah 1.12 Please give us Jeremiah 1.12 If we can get amplified that's great Otherwise just give us King James We are praying please media help us Let's hurry up Jeremiah 1.12 I want us to read it together One to read Then said the Lord unto me Thou hast well seen Aha uh -huh. For I will what Who will perform it you are not the person performing it. So when God says, I will bless you, leave the dynamics to him. Your job is to believe him and find out how he, just find out what is your part of the deal. Hi. I show you a cheap route to results. Some of these results you see, let me tell you, I don't even know how it happens. All I know is God speaks. I am stupid enough to believe him. And I watch together with the congregation the wonder working power of God. Help me to believe you. Kill unbelief from my life. Lift your voice and pray. I, by now, if my faith were alive, I doubt you too much. Help me. Help me.
my own belief. Hallelujah. Listen, listen, listen. Whatever makes you to ignore the word of God, let me be sincere with you, is destroying your destiny. Are we together? If you do not know what God has said, then you don't know how to commit him. God is only committed by his word, not your tears. He's moved by your tears, but he's committed by his word. Number three, 1 Corinthians 16 verse 9. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 9. We'll pray this and two more prayer points and we're done. But I want you to pray. These prayers will bring results in your life. I like us to read it. One, two, read. Uh huh. Oh, come on, read it as if you are alive. For a great door, an effectual, a door of marriage is open, a door of wealth is open, but it says there are many adversaries. And so, what do you do? You don't discuss with them. You keep them where they belong. There is a warfare dimension of prayer. Listen, listen, listen. The warfare dimension of prayer is when you engage the spirit and you engage the word to establish victories. The warfare dimension of prayer is engaging the ministry of the spirit and engaging the power, the supremacy of the word to deliver results. You force compliance upon the strength of the word. So you pray. We are going to pray. There are forces sitting on the gates of our destiny and say you must end this year like last year. It's time to dislodge them. Open your mouth and prophesy. Come on, engage. Engage the weapons of our warfare. Canal. Koinonia, are you praying? A great door. A great A great door. Anointing a great victory, a great business, a great nation. but there are many adversaries. I command every force to bow. I command every force to bow. Prophesy. Come in the name of the Lord Jesus. Destiny, the princes of darkness, I come against you by the mystery of the blood, by the mystery of the word, by the mystery of the spirit. Release my prosperity, release my blessing. Release access. Abarata kato shokete baradaba. Emprata shatata. Ekele koto shote kata. Hallelujah. 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 Listen. Hear me. Brothers and sisters, believe me. When I tell you there is no victory without warfare, anybody who lies to you, hear Joshua Selman say it. There is a place where you challenge gates. They are ancient gates. They stop your father. They will stop you if you let them. I like you to prophesy. Lend you. Lift your voice and pray. to the destinies of men 
Alejo. Hallelujah. 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 Was you praying? Listen. Listen. I am a living witness that Satan can be tired. Are we together? I am a living witness. Breakthrough occurs when the powers that sit upon your destiny at this lodge is not by discussion. Hear me, crying may help you, but it does not help your situation. Are we together? Listen. There is a law in the spirit called the law of insistence. There was a woman in Luke 18 who was pleading a case before an unjust judge. The Bible says he feared neither God nor man. But she said, revenge me my adversary. There are powers that have taken what belong to you. You are going to stand before the parliament of heaven. And say, God, you are not an unjust God. I place a demand. I place a demand. Lift your voice. I place a demand. Judgment. Upon the wicked. I place a demand. Judgment. Upon the wicked. Kill my dreams. I demand judgment upon the wicked by the fiery first anger of God. I place a demand. Upon the justice system of heaven, there must be judgment upon the issues of my life. This large powers challenge thrones. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. 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 Do you know why many of us never get results? We give up too easily. We change prayer points foolishly. When you tell God this is okay God, I bring it down. Whether big or small, it will still take God to do it. Are we together? I'd like you to pray. You are going to force the door of the next level to open. Listen. No door opens by itself. You force it. Lodge your power. Let the door be open. Lift your voice and pray. Don't influence. of greater grace those of greater power greater unction haparatata rikotos rekete kotosekete pray don't cut out pray 
Rabata Katatete, Empreto Shotekete, I command to the next level. I forcefully advance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, we have two more prayer points. And for me, this is the greatest prayer point we are about to pray this night now. Are we together? The Lord spoke to me and said, my people need divine direction. Many people are trapped because they don't know what to do. Confusion is the sign that a deceiver is in a place. One of the indices of the presence of the Spirit of God is absolute clarity of purpose. Jeremiah 33, 3, we are praying. Lamb of God, we worship you. Shabarata katapratike. We worship you. Lamb of God, I worship you. Listen, one of the plots of hell, hear me, one of the plots of hell right now against the church is to manipulate every access for reception of direction so that the saints are confused. Hear me, I'm speaking to you prophetically. One of the plots of hell is to manipulate every access that believers use to receive direction. Dreams, visions, prophecies, the understanding of the word of God. Are we together? Satan knows that your solution is in your direction. For listen, listen, when I sent thee, lackest thou anything? When I sent thee, I gave you direction. I told you to go to the lost ship of Israel. Very clearly, when I sent thee, lackest thou anything? We send ourselves, we guess our way, we guess businesses, we guess job, we guess husband, we guess wife, we guess whatever. See, let me tell you this. That's why I, we pray for being spiritually minded. We are going to open portals for fresh access to the voice of God. Do you know a man can be grounded for 10 years because he has not had... And let me tell you something with believers. God has brought us to a place where if we don't hear God, we don't move. And Satan said, wow, this is strategy. I can take advantage of it. Since a Jimmy is bent on hearing God before moving, let me close every door for clarity. Have you seen three people bringing a prophetic word to the same person? Three different things. They are sincere, but it's a plot of darkness. And you are confused. You want to go into agriculture. You had agriculture. The next day, someone sends a word and says, sorry, are you a Jimmy? I don't know you, but I'm hearing God say you should go into aviation. Now, the person called your name, he did not know you. And at the end of it, we are left in confusion. The devil is a liar. No matter how he will masquerade it, my Bible says, call on to me. Listen, I will not show, you can guess to see any nonsense that you are seeing something from the realm of the spirit. Do you know, let me tell you, including believers, you stand the chance of being manipulated. No matter how accurate you are in interpretation, Satan can take advantage of the laws of the spirit and manipulate your vision. He said, what seest thou? He said, an almond tree. He said, you have seen correctly. A man can see wrongly. It doesn't mean you are demonic. There are ladies that threw away their husbands because the devil manipulated them into believing that's not their husband. And they sent him away. Are we together? There are people who threw away destiny helpers. There are some people, the devil uses the face of good people to oppress them in dreams. Have you seen people like that? A brother that wants to marry you, then he comes with a horn in a dream and stabs you and you get up and meet a prophet and the devil manipulates the prophet and he says that brother has a spirit. Your destiny is closed because of manipulation. We, we laugh about it but it's a dangerous thing. People are in hot water right now. 
Various places all around. We are sincere. We seek the voice of God. So Satan sends voices. But the Bible says, call unto me. What is the promise? What is the promise? How will I show that I have answered? I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Lord, where is my job? Where am I going to lo relocate? I am tired. Today I'm in Saria. Next tomorrow I feel like going to Kano. I, I just wanted to ask this lady out. In two weeks I've seen this one now. I'm confused. It's not straight. Lift your voice and cry. And say, Lord, clear this confusion in my destiny. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray. Clear this confusion. I call on to you. Give me clarity. I will not take a step until you speak. So speak, oh God, and let me know you are the one speaking. Hey, na 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 na. Call unto me and I will answer. Pray. Lord, I'm at my wit's end. I need direction. I need your voice. My next level is tied to your voice. My next level is tied to your voice. My next level is tied to your voice. Pray. Is the Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Living God? Is the Holy Ghost, Scepter of the King of Kings? Is the Holy Ghost? Seal of the age to come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are praying. I know our time is gone, but please give me a few minutes. We have to flog this in out this night. The next prayer point is the grace to let the will of God be done in our lives. Listen, it's one thing for God to desire his will to be done. But are you willing to let him do it? He said, Father, if it be thy will, let this cup pass over. Nevertheless, not my will. Let me tell you why many of us may never move forward. We come around a dimension. Our wills are so strong. We can never say, Lord, let your will be done. It is absolutely spiritual to say your will be done. Lord, I know left for me i want to be in lagos but every time you keep telling me kano i don't know anybody there i'm tired of arguing with you let your will be done it is spiritual to let the will of god be done lord i have vowed that i must marry a millionaire alone but right now as you are touching me let your will be done i've said if it's not shell i will not walk but I don't know your ways for me. But Lord, I say your will be done. Listen, if you pray this prayer with all your heart, you'll be surprised at the testimonies that will come. Lift your voice. Grace to let your will be done. Let me not be the barrier to my next level. Let my flesh not hinder me from rising. Let your will be done. No matter how painful, let your will be done no matter how pleasant let your will be done i submit to your will i submit to your will i may not know what it is but i permit it to happen in my life let your will be done over my career pray let your will be done let your will be done Let your will be done. Mm -hmm. 
Psalms 23. Swallow your pride tonight. Come to the school of the spirit. Don't you know? In his hands are the keys to eternal life. A little here, a little there. Soon your day will dawn. He's at work in you, changing everything. I like us to read the A part just before the semicolon. Are you ready? One, two, read. One more time. It didn't say the Lord is my escorter. Let me tell you something. The shepherd is the only one who knows where the food is. The sheep does not have that level of intelligence. Sheep does not have horn. It cannot fight. It's only defense is the presence of the shepherd. So he says, the Lord, the Lord is my shepherd. And then he says, I shall not want. The next line, verse 2, he maketh me to lie down in what? Now, this is where these three words, he leadeth me. One more time, say it. Listen. There is a difference between guidance and leadership. You don't lead a man walking side by side by him. Uh -uh. You lead a man by setting the pace. How will you like God to precede you in everything? Including the doors that are closed. Let him walk to it first before you come. He leads me. For a man to lead you, you must have the submission to step back. And say, Lord, if I don't see you in front, I'm not going. I don't care how long that door is open. Listen. Many people ignore the leadership of the spirit. Number one leadership is word. His word. His bond towards your life. He leaded me. He led me. In this economic turmoil, you can guess your way around. You can just go ahead and start frying fish just because you think you want to eradicate poverty. And suffer frying fish because his hand is not dead. Are we together? You can stand up and start selling popcorn because everybody is selling popcorn, and your own is the one that will kill you and punish you because copying does not pay. People are led. People are led. Are we together? Everybody is entering a relationship. You just feel, I think I must enter. The day you enter a relationship is the day your life scatters into pieces because you are not led. There are too many people walking just based on instinct. There is a place for instincts. But I tell you, not in Nigeria today. Keep instincts aside. It may work in UK. It may work in Singapore. Nigeria's situation is a state of emergency. You must be led so that if you perish, you say, Lord, you said this. Let me tell you something. When you are challenged at the gate of destiny, your consolation and your support will be what God told you before you started the journey. So if he didn't tell you anything at that point, the devil will say, are you sure God told you? Every time Satan comes to people, he challenges the word of God. He told him, did God really say? He told Jesus, if you are the son of God, whereas God said, this is my beloved son. So when he comes to you, he will challenge the word of God. I'm giving us very solid prayer points that will produce results in your life. He leaded me. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, from tonight, I declare that I am the sheep of your pasture. Please lead me. I will not be a fellow shepherd with you. I am not, we are not two shepherds leading ourselves. You are the shepherd. I am the sheep. Pray. In business. You are the shepherd, I am the sheep. In marriage, you are the shepherd, I am the sheep. In ministry, you are the shepherd, I am the sheep. In my academics, you are the shepherd, I am the sheep. Lead me, oh God. Lead me, oh God, to green pastures. Lead me, oh God.
divine direction. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bishop Oyedeko, among the seven different mysteries that he's taught the winner's family worldwide that is responsible for their result is the mystery of divine guidance. Are we together? Yeah. And the Lord told him that if you are committed to follow, then I will keep leading. If you are committed to follow, so he can get into a forest and God will say like he will say, this is the place. And he said, yes, Lord. For many of us, science is leading us. So they tell you, ratio of three to one, or six to one. For every one man, there are six ladies. Science is leading you. Because of that, you are in a desperate search. You wake up in the night, you are on Facebook, you are on WhatsApp, looking for everybody who is your tribesman, looking for everybody who, who knows your father or mother. It is an occultic way of trying to get your destiny because you open yourself to spirits. Are we together? Some of us is statistics and reports that one out of every hundred graduates is guaranteed to get a job within the first two years of graduation. Now that statistics you can let it lead you and produce complacency and unseriousness. Another popular statistic it takes six years for any business to at least be established. It may be true, but you have an advantage. Are we together? Divine guidance. Listen, you must make a commitment tonight to halt with everything you are currently doing that you have not heard the voice of God. I don't care what it is. One lady met me one time, happily smiling, that she's preparing for marriage. As soon as she spoke, my heart was heavy. God didn't tell me anything. My heart was heavy. I knew she was entering hellfire. How I was going to tell this lady now, she won't listen. Because you see, when we are stubborn over our own wills, God will step back. He's not a demon. And I told her, I said, my dear, I don't know who consulted with you, but there is serious trouble. This lady did not listen. Just driving ahead like, like, like a, a, a train without brake. That was how she went. And the next thing, when she got married, I think it was like four months, she found out that the man who married her was actually married somewhere. An irresponsible and a stupid man. He came now, cornered her head, deceived her parents, lied over things he was not doing. Lied about different things. Lied about qualifications. Lied about where and where he had worked. And so on and so forth. And deceived this lady. She sent me a text again. God is my witness. I'm sorry to have to say it publicly. I didn't even reply because I didn't know what to reply. Sometimes, let me tell you, don't say some things are better prevented than corrected. The correction will bring an eternal scar that you cannot clean. This is the word of God probably for somebody. All this rat race of doing it in the strength of the flesh. Why don't you depend on God? Are we together? You, you see the funny things Christians do for marriage, for money, for relevance. After praying in tongues, eight hours, ten hours, dry fasting, we, we mock ourselves. Please, listen, let me tell you. If you are for God, stand for Him. If you are not for God, stand for whatever you are standing for. If God cannot open a door, trying to open that door is a big frustration and it's foolishness. The door will open. That's the danger. But not by God. And it will destroy you and kill you. Divine direction. We need it in Nigeria. Many people are flying out of Abuja simply because there's no national cake again. The question is who told them to come here? And who is asking them to go now? Are we together? You may be running to a place you think is safety. But that's where the devil is waiting for you. And he will honor you there and destroy your life. You've had strange testimonies of divine direction. God said this. God directed me through his word. God said, take three days prayer and fasting. Say, no, this can't be God. God forbid. 
God, God, you know, laziness. God said, for one week, wake up by one o'clock every night and pray. But slumber, you snore away the key to your next level. That's why I told us, look, we have to be spiritual. Little instructions we used to obey before. Now we throw it away because of science. Now, that doesn't mean you get up and do stupid things. No. The spirit of God does not make you do stupid things. They may not make physical sense, but there will be a spiritual logic and the presence of God and the honor that it brings must be upon it. Instructions. The next, the key to your next level is in simple instructions. Do you know God can give you a simple instruction? After the service, just come and greet Sam. Lord, why should I greet him? You just come and greet him. At the point you are greeting him, you will stand close to somebody who is saying, there is a job employment, divine direction. And immediately you will apply and God will wipe your tears. God gave me an instruction last, I think last week. Just one, two, three, four. And I mean, that thing has, I would probably say has changed my life forever. Just a simple instruction. It's not in trying. It's not in hustling. It's in the word of the Lord. It's in the voice of God. Do you treasure his voice? One last prayer. And then we are going to round up. One last prayer. I believe in the anointing. Listen, I don't know how to tell you this thing. For every dimension of spiritual possibility, there is a grace that takes men there. Say there is a grace. Say it, there is a grace. There is a dimension of the anointing responsible for every result. You are going to cry before the God of heaven and say, Lord, the dimension of grace needed for this testimony I'm looking for it land upon my life. Lift your voice and pray. Don't be tired. We've just prayed for a few minutes. Pray. Lord, I need a breakthrough. But I realize that there is a level of unction that is responsible to deliver this kind of result. for the next dimension I have confidence in you Jesus, I have confidence in you. Every time and any day, I have confidence in you. Savior, I have confidence in you. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I have confidence in you, Savior, Savior. You're my master, master. Jesus. Hallelujah. We're rounding up. He will not suffer my foot to be everywhere, so full of me. Water. Awesome. I may be a mortal man, but let me get extraordinary results. We may be 
God how man but embrace us with extraordinary results Suffer my food. I prophesy to someone here you will not see shame this year in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ listen I speak to you from the depth of my spirit every orchestration to bring shame and a mockery to the name of God upon your life I declare that by a wisdom you yourself cannot explain may my God turn it around may my God turn it around may my God turn it around I pray for you every confusion at this level of your life we bring it under the wisdom of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ any man who has said let us see may they see in the name of Jesus Christ the kind of result that will make even those who know you to ask you questions may the God of heaven give it to you yes some results yes some results tremendous results I want to pray just one more prayer I believe in the anointing for ease listen things do not have to be hard to mean you are moving forward. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Believe me brothers and sisters. Favor is a sign that God's presence is in a thing. There are some of us who are moving forward. But for every step you pay for it. I want to pray for you. There, there is grace for ease. I have seen this. I know there is such an anointing. Where things can happen by divine pace by divine orchestration i pray for everyone under the sound of my voice in the name of jesus i don't know what you have struggled to achieve i release upon you grace for ease i release upon you grace for ease from tonight easy results sweatless results easy results sweatless results hallelujah you will make a statement and the anointing will amplify it to bring results listen it says for whatsoever things were written aforetime it says were written for our learning that we through the patience and the comfort of scripture we might have hope whatever no just 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 verse four whatever has been written in other words every time you read the bible every story every epistle every letter in it is a revelation that is applicable the bible says that they are written for our learning meaning we can derive keys from these principles and we can trust god that by the application of the same we will experience triumph and tonight we are going to explore one of them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I prayed with all my heart for this meeting and I trusted the Lord and I still do that he truly will visit us. I think the worship team captured it in a most profound way. All the 
issues that we may need the hand of God to come upon healing, deliverance, etc. Let's look at Joshua chapter 6. The book of Joshua chapter 6. There are a few lessons we can learn. The Bible already records that everything that is written in the Bible is for our learning that through the comfort of scripture we might find hope joshua chapter 6 it's a very interesting story um the lord opened my eyes to a very deep mystery here and i want to share part of it with us verse 1 okay it's projected now jericho was straightly shut up why because the children because of the children of israel and it says none went out and none came in imagine ladies and gentlemen a situation where a city is shut nothing is allowed to go out through it nothing is allowed to come out it's a description of the lives of many people the bible says this city is shut in a way that nothing can go out and it means it cannot receive anything it cannot give and it cannot receive are we together now and then the bible says verse 2 and the lord said unto joshua see i have given into thy hand jericho and its king and the mighty men of velo this is god speaking verse 3 and ye shall compass the city all ye men of war and go round about the city once thus shall thou do six days verse 4 and seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horns and the seventh day he shall compass the city seven times and the priest shall blow the trumpets verse 6 and Joshua the son of Nun called the priests. Notice now. And he said unto them, Take up the ark of the covenant and let seven priests bear trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the Lord. Now look up. We're going to continue. But the Bible is describing something very interesting here. Do you know that the surprising thing about this scripture is that the purpose for fighting that land was not to occupy Jericho? The Bible never said they fought and they said, let's enter. So what was it about Jericho that they needed to destroy it to continue their journey? I thought that they would fight. God said, I've given you the land. How can you wait seven days, fight, defeat a city and then keep moving? That meant Jericho was not just a city. Jericho represented something that was a deep mystery. The Bible says nothing could go into it and nothing could come out meaning if you found yourself in that city there was no possibility of connection with any environment outside nothing could go out nothing could come in are we together a city so fortified the bible says five chariots could hang on the fence of that city and then joshua the son of Nun, notice the strategy in order to defeat this city he said i know you have men of war but now I need the priests, not men of war. Gather the priests and then introduce the Ark of the Covenant. And then surround, keep going around that challenge with the Ark. Notice this. Don't talk. Don't do anything. Just carry the Ark and keep surrounding that city that is so fortified. There is no human way of crumbling that city. But he introduced the ark. Listen carefully. And he said to carry that ark. And for six days, all I want you to do is to gather the priests. The ones who mediate between God and man. Carry the ark. A symbol of the strength and the presence of God. Because he was trying to show Joshua that what you see is not all there is. If you fight physically there is a force that makes jericho jericho and that even if you pass jericho in peace jericho will not leave you in peace are you getting what i'm saying now it was not the issue of occupying is that something needed 
to be broken in Jericho for their journey to be successful. A city, you can't see the king, you can't see the citizens, but the city is fortified. Nothing can go out. Nothing can come in. When the Lord... Look, let me tell you something about God. The tools that he uses tells you what challenge he's fighting. When he went to Egypt, he didn't say, Moses, let me show you how to use the sphere and a gun and whatever. He said, no, Egypt is not just Egypt because they have men of war. There are spirits. And so take this rod. Now he's telling, he's telling Joshua, Joshua, this challenge you see, don't mind the physical size of the challenge. There are entities that are standing there to make sure that no form of breakthrough comes, no deliverance comes, a city that stands as an altar within a territory. And he says, gather the priests. I thought you would confront the king. He said, leave the king alone. Carry my presence. Carry the ark. Start going around. Encompass. That was the language. Just keep going around that city with my presence. Don't utter a word. Let my presence keep going around. Six days. This is what you will do. And the Bible says that they continue that way. Verse 11. So the ark of the Lord come past the city going about it once. And they came into the camp and lodged in the camp. Verse 15. And it came to pass on the seventh day. Listen carefully. That he rose up early about the dawning of the day and compassed the city after the same manner seven days. Only that on that day they compassed the city seven times. And it came to pass at the seventh time when the priest blew the trumpet, Joshua said unto the people, Shout. Notice from day one to day seven, no one was allowed to talk. The only thing that was speaking was the ark. It was a communication of spirits first. There will be a participation, but the physical only comes on the seventh day. You start dealing with things physically. No, no, no. Let the ark speak what you cannot speak. When the victory has been established by the ark, your shout only manifested. What sort of war do you fight with ark? Not swords. Carry the ark. Go round that challenge. Go around Jericho. What kind of mason, what kind of engineer would deconstruct the blocks? They were not held by cement and mortar. They were held by covenants and ordinances. He said only the ark can deal with this. Listen, let me tell you this. Jericho is a representation of the kinds of situations of many people the the fortification is such that your shouting and trying to do all you know to do may not provide that solution are we together but the system here the first thing is look for the priest if you cannot find a priest then there cannot be victory you can find men of war but this one requires priesthood it is only priesthood that has the capacity to nullify the mystery that built Jericho. Are we together? The Bible says here, we have been made unto our God, kings and priests. There is an office of the priesthood of a believer and only that office is able to address certain intricate fortifications of darkness. They would have shouted, they would have tried fighting, and they would have died. I believe if they tried to fight Jericho, the men of Jericho would not use swords. The mystery that built Jericho will fight them. And yet, on this occasion, the Lord tells Joshua, your sword is useful, but now, not for now. Your voice is useful, but not for now. Go around Jericho. Those walls you see were not just physical walls. Those walls, the physical walls you see were a representation of something. He said, go around it. Tonight the Lord has brought his presence. And let me tell you what has been happening in this service. is like taking the presence of God 
and going around situations you may not understand you were not designed to understand what the act speaks is a spirit communication there is a place where you shout with your intelligence but this warfare leave it for the ark and the covenant are we together there are languages over our lives and puzzles and mysteries that only the presence of god has a solution over the bible says so the people shouted verse 20 when the priests blew the trumpet and it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the trumpet the bible says the people shouted with a great shout and the wall fell down flat meaning it was built in a way and manner that it was not just by hands alone the walls that five chariots could stay sank something about the going around with the ark was doing something to the controlling powers that held that situation in other words the building was never the issue you will be deceived to think because the building is large it is a function of the engineering and here god is revealing and said joshua don't waste your time just like a situation that has been for 15 years 30 years and you may think because it has stayed so long it's just that those who have been fighting it have been fighting it physically let me tell you when the act goes round, it doesn't take long you will see a situation that you thought was so long crumble you will see joblessness all of a sudden crumble the assignment tonight is to find a priest take the ark blow the trumpet and let there be a shout and you will watch jericho notice the bible says when jericho fell down flat the bible says the people entered and killed everything inside and they carried the treasures so that city was fortified and god challenged them to destroy that but the city was holding a treasure that was needed for the next level of their lives there was wealth and blessing and the city would not allow anybody enter in or go out are you hearing what i'm saying and god said don't act like you would not need what is in jericho stay and destroy pay the price crumble the city pack the treasures and you will need it on your journey couldn't they have followed another route and passed the people since the people did not want to open and close it's a sign of peace i can just leave them but you leave them you will need the treasure that is in jericho because you see satan never has anything that is own is his own everything he has he stole it are we together carry the ark it was a powerful revelation and i began to think about how many people try to fight battles physically how many people waste their time to try to manage things no the key is to tap into the mystery of priesthood a system that can talk to spirits a system that can challenge controlling powers the bible says for the weapons it says we wrestle not against flesh and blood we wrestle not against the annoying neighbor we wrestle not against the landlord we wrestle not against the joblessness situation in nigeria that every jericho has a force behind it you fight jericho physically you waste your time when you allow the ark fight before you come there the city has given you way you never enter a city until the ark defeats the city when you enter a city and try to fight the city will tear you into pieces because every city has gates spiritual fortifications there is the jericho of wealth and prosperity nothing comes in nothing goes out yet your treasure is there your life remains at a standstill because a fortification has been built so you don't challenge it spiritually so you go and start a business physical nothing works you leave the business and get a job physical nothing works after that you go and meet your uncle physical nothing works will you allow the ark to talk to the controlling powers 
are you getting what i'm saying now you want a job you carry your certificate and tell an uncle somewhere uncle sir i i want you to give me a job and he says bring your cv and you keep rejoicing for years that your cv is with someone and you keep it because until spirits are confronted there is no breakthrough believe what i tell you those who understand this keep triumphing cheaply by invoking the mystery of priesthood now the symbol of defeat for any people is the absence of a priesthood and the absence of an ark even if you have a sword if there is no priesthood and there is no ark there is no victory listen carefully the most important components to win the warfare of life is not the swords it's not the spheres it's not the business ideas it is the presence of a living priesthood and the presence of an ark hmm. not everybody can carry the ark everybody can benefit from the presence of the ark but not everybody can carry the ark this is a mystery everybody is allowed to partake of the implications of the presence of the ark but not everybody can carry the ark if there is no priesthood then there is no ark then there is no victory even though there is an army even though there is a sword please hear me carefully some may trust in horses some may trust in chariots some may trust in certificates some may trust in human connections some may trust in business acumen some may trust in all kinds of things but i show you how we win in life it is the token of the priesthood the ark the trumpet it is not just physical things when the gates and the doors are fallen then your sword becomes useful are you seeing that you only submit the cv when the controlling power that stands from your village and has vowed that nobody who is through this bloodline will excel is a waste of time it is vain to wake up in the morning listen carefully and to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrows those you see triumphing in life are men and women who have understood the mystery of the priesthood they always allow the priesthood and the ark to precede them they will fight but they know when to fight look at me i came tonight to deliver us from a life of hustling a life of doing physical things you would think i don't know what i'm saying many people will not listen you will get up please help those on that you will get up carry certificates around life is spiritual there is no jericho that does not have spirit until the ark goes before you and until the priest carries the ark there is no possibility of victory treasures in jericho but the door is closed your treasure you can't go in you can't come out are we together do you know there was a woman there who should be saved i'm not sure rahab you can see that Rahab was part of God, the army of God. But listen, the Bible says that she was stuck there. Her too could not go out and come in. For as long as she was in there, she was called Rahab the prostitute. Until she came out of that dungeon, did she become one of the, the, the genealogy, the lineage of Jesus. For as long as some of our family members and there are situations that are left it's not only treasures that were carried there some persons were also rescued everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored we prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that 
was stolen. Listen, let me tell you this. The more I understand the systems of the kingdom, the more I see honestly that there is no hope of deliverance for many people until they find out these mysteries. Those who win in life are not the smartest. Those who win in life are not the most educated. Some of them, by mercy, they stumbled into these mysteries. And you watch gates open and you are there with your knowledge wondering how unfair life can be. Jericho 45. Nobody entered from your village. Your father tried fighting physically. They destroyed him. Your mother tried doing business. They destroyed her. Your siblings went to school. Got masters. Got PhD. The door said, I don't open. I don't receive. And I don't give. The Lord said, Joshua, stop wasting your time. It's not about Nigeria. It's not about recession. Find a priest quickly. Find a priest. One who is an act bearer. Don't just try to do it on your own. I know you can fight, but this is priesthood. Listen carefully. It is the foolishness that has destroyed many proud people in our generation. The Bible says, by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. It's not human worship. It is the mystery of priesthood. The priest, the ark, the trumpet equal to the falling of Jericho. When Jericho falls, you can fight with whatever you have. When Jericho falls, your pure water can make you a millionaire because Jericho has fallen. When Jericho falls, one destiny helper is enough. You don't need party. When Jericho falls, one job can bless you. But until Jericho falls, anything done outside it is a waste of time. I never fight physically. Physical battles are the last. It is foolish to begin your journey to victory fighting physically. Look at Jesus. On his way to the cross, he spent time in Gethsemane because he knew it was not about wood and nails. It was about spirits. Satan came to him in Matthew chapter 3, Matthew chapter 4. Satan left him, came back to him in Peter. He defeated him, came back in Judas. He left him. Something was playing out. And Jesus knew that he needed to settle certain things. When he went to that cross, Satan did not know that certain dimensions of priesthood the order the protocol of priesthood had been kept let me tell you fear any man that understands priesthood even if he's a herbalist are you getting what i'm saying the people in the world know this and they triumph from one level of victory there are business people in this nation that will never do anything until they make sure there is an ordinance of priesthood that goes ahead of them life is too fierce to be physical no sir are we together you try getting a baby physically it doesn't work you go to the hospital doctors do their best it doesn't work you try and try let me tell you when you try a thing once twice three times it doesn't work just stop stop wasting your time stop immediately the bible did not tell us that one person was killed when jericho fell the people the same spirit that fell the land rendered the people helpless even the weakest of the members of the army killed somebody it was never about the sword it was about victory when the ark wins you win the only possibility for your failure is that the priesthood is not there show me the priesthood that has risen to speak over the ordinances our forefathers as uneducated as they were they understood the mystery of priesthood till today many of them we laugh at them yet they keep getting results everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen Everything that was lost 
shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be returned Listen, unto me. The Bible says everything written in scripture was for our learning. That story was not just written there. God intended that someone with the eyes of the spirit can see and teach a people that you don't win battles with swords. Swords only help you possess your possession. Swords only help you manifest victory. They don't create victory. What creates victory, brothers and sisters, is the priesthood and the ark. What manifests victory is your sword. It is true that the horse is prepared for battle, but the horse does not fight until the priesthood goes. The nation of Israel will be going for war and they will carry swords and then they will carry priests with a trumpet. Look how silly it is to be going to fight. They can wipe a whole nation. Yet there are some people with some irritating regalia and the painful part is they are never behind. They are in front. The priesthood, they are afraid, but they know what they carry. They depend on the ark. Left for me, you will kill me. And the enemies are laughing and saying, you have come to fight us like this? Priesthood. Our generation is a very arrogant generation. That's why we may never get results. Many young people just, I'm not saying anything is wrong with intellectualism. We have so, we have demeaned ourselves from the reality of the realm of the spirit do you know you look at certain people and you are even annoyed because in all honesty you see the efforts i'm correcting you now you have been doing it wrongly you have been fighting a neighbor even if the neighbor leaves provided jericho is there it doesn't matter who comes back the battle is the same listen if jericho is still there leave zaria and travel to lagos leave zaria and go to us right from the 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 airport there trouble will meet you but crumble jericho and remain in your village and watch the booty of jericho look for you and come it is not by strength it is by strategy i show you a strategy tonight to command strange signs and wonders is the mystery of the priesthood Do you know Do you know why Saul lost his throne? Are we Bible students? Do you know why Saul lost his throne? Who can tell me why he lost his throne? Saul did not lose his throne necessarily just because he offended God. Saul lost his throne because he, of, he offended a pattern, an order of operation. He waited there was a man occupying the priest prophet office who was supposed to be the one to offer incense and they waited for him and the king said look you are wasting our time the people are destroying me say ah, is he not the same god we all serve the same god and he offered the sacrifice and when samuel came he said no you have done foolishly if you allowed me to come god would have established your throne forever but now that you have done this the throne is taken away from you just for the sin of violating priesthood a man lost his throne without knife no knife nobody fought him but he lost his throne david tried to do his best to still respect him he was sitting in a physical throne yet he had gotten up in the realm of the spirit show me the job in the realm of the spirit otherwise stop wasting your time with cvs around it will not work are you getting what i'm saying you just get up physically and go and harass your unbelieving loved ones i've come to you repent you must repent you are fighting physically and all of a sudden you receive casualties but when you invoke priesthood someone goes to bed in the night and sees a stranger coming and says it's time for your salvation and the person is already convicted here you come and you say look i want to talk to you about he helps you and say jesus i've been waiting because jericho has fallen are we together you meet your destiny helper jericho covers his eyes he is the one but he cannot see you and you pass but when jericho falls 
like the prodigal son as prodigal as that son was while the father saw him the father didn't even say so what have you been doing i hear you have been with pigs he held him he said leave the matter of the past now let me put a ring come be restored for by the arm of flesh koinonia will no man prevail you will never get a job just by physical pressing believe me you will never prosper just by doing all of these things there are many men of god some of you are here wonderful men of god they are trying to win the battle and rise in ministry physically please invite me here's my complimentary card i'm a sound man of god by god's grace i'm balanced i'm this and that and that you are and jericho is looking at you and say it doesn't happen that way jesus knew this imagine jesus going around and saying people come and listen to me for 30 years no one was interested in listening to him but when he engaged the mystery of the priesthood he came out of the waters a voice spoke hear ye him publicity or no publicity everywhere jesus went men followed him are we are we together the bible says they know not neither will they understand they walk on in darkness let me tell you many of you your victory is already established in the realm of the spirit but the system for translating it we are there wasting time doing a lot of things many of our loved ones some of you are here you thought that okay by the time you get a job it will be all right you got a job you found out that the salary was not enough you prayed for promotion as promotion came to you all of a sudden jericho says that's not how we win i'm still here standing but tonight in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ let me tell you you will watch jericho just like babylon fall before you it's true. listen when you hear people testifying ah huh? try to understand what made the miracle work because most of what they were doing they had done it before master we have toiled all night jesus said no it's not nets that catches fish Abba, you've been with me you don't understand how this thing works master we have toiled all night he said but i know there is a relationship between you and that fish and jesus said cast your net the net will be casted but not before he speaks it is after he speaks the cv will be submitted but not before the priesthood it is after are we together you will try to have the child but when you continue the way you are doing you will keep miscarrying forever it's not an insult let me tell you this without the presence of god there is no human intelligence that has the fortification to destroy an altar whose foundation is spiritual let me repeat myself without the presence of god spiritual intelligence there is no human manipulation that sustains enough power to crumble an altar whose origin is from the realm of the spirit what is fighting many of us is not physical brothers and sisters i know you are born again i know you love jesus christ but the mystery of covenants are territorial jesus has come to your heart but he must come to your life just because you received him into your heart doesn't automatically mean you are free potentially you have come into a kingdom with infinite possibilities but ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 says having their understanding darkened this is paul teaching the church in ephesus he says alienated from the life of god through the ignorance that is in them having the the tragedy is not that god lied but that their understanding is darkened and so by reason of the darkened understanding they have been alienated from the experience of that life it's not enough to say jesus died it's not enough to say i'm born again if that were it brothers and sisters many of our loved ones who have been born again for decades should not be where they were i watch people under the influence 
of manipulations that are not of an earthly, an earthly origin. And I watched the folly of men, how we do our best. I was once like that, but no more. I'm born again. I've repented. I've seen the foolishness of fighting things physically. It has to be from the realm of the spirit first. Not from the realm of the spirit, whether first or not. The order is first from the realm of the spirit. When you plant a seed, it doesn't start growing outside until the growth happens there. That is the part you cannot explain. When it starts coming out, you can now water it. But the growth there doesn't need your watering. Listen, there are powers that until the mystery of the priesthood and the ark fights, some of us will never experience progress in our lives. We wake up in the morning, we sleep late in the night, we are sincere, but nothing is working. Are we together? Yes. Every time a blessing comes, trouble must ferment itself around a family and drain everything. The moment you are rising spiritually, how many pastors and churches and wonderful people are like that? When you are rising, Satan doesn't fight you. You will think you are victorious. The programming, he knows how cheap the programming will bring you down. So he can as well allow you to rise. And you find out for a season, everything is working well because it's like a string. You will reach a limit, it pulls you back. Are we together? Oh, I want to marry you. No problem. You will even be happy. Three days later, everything scatters. I'm going to give you a job and you find out that Satan does not need to fight you. He already fought you with the presence of Jericho. And God said, guys, the goal is not to stay in Jericho, but you can't let Jericho stand and reach where you are going. Don't pity it. Bring it down. There is a, don't just look at the fence. There are captives in that place. There are treasures in that place. And he said, let me show you. It is not by physical fighting. You don't have any physical weapon that can bring down that fence. Brothers and sisters, Jericho sank flat. The Bible records it flat. This is what is going to happen to many of us tonight. That's why, that's why I, I told you tonight's miracle service is not just for individuals, it's for families. Enough of this fruitless trying, doing everything by strength. There is a system in the kingdom. Are we together? The priesthood. There are some of us here, we are ministry. Some of us probably travel for a long time. We are men of God, we love God. But it looks like there is a peg. Brothers and sisters, let Jericho crumble and you will see how cheap life can be. There are people who have experienced the defeat of Jericho, but they cannot articulate the system that brought the defeat. Someone stood on their behalf through the ministry of intercession and caused Jericho to fall for them. They just found out that they entered cheaply and even a dagger brought victory. So they can trivialize the existence of Jericho. Jericho is real. If you don't see it in your life, a priesthood already brought it down for you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But everyone who must pass. Remember, Israel is God's own people. What is the business between Israel and Jer They had conquered other nations. What do they need the treasures of Jericho? When you read your Bible with an open heart, you will see that there are gaps. You have to be spiritual to get an explanation. I fight, I defeat Jericho, and I continue my journey. But I carry Rahab. I carry treasures. There is Rahab there. Without Rahab, there is no Jesus. Without Rahab, the whole fight was to carry treasures and to carry Rahab. Mm. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh. Yahweh, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh, forever Yahweh, Yahweh, we look 
to Yahweh. soon going to pray the lord rejects saul as a king and now looks at david but there was no priest to confirm what god wanted the priest that was available still wanted saul and david could not be king god almighty had left saul and wanted david samuel said no i still want saul and God remained helpless. Think about it. God kept begging Samuel, cooperate with me because David will never be king. That God intended it does not guarantee his manifestation. Between God's heart and your result is a priest carrying the ark. That's why you can have a dream. You see yourself collecting a, a job letter you saw it in 2014, no priest. 2015, no priest. That your dreams show you Eden. Your life shows you Adulam. There's a system of translation. Are we together? And all of a sudden, the Lord now spoke to Samuel. He didn't quarrel Samuel. He said, Samuel, how long will you keep weeping seeing that i have rejected saul as king rise up carry your horn go to the house of jesse go and anoint the next king of israel paraphrasing and david remained there i'm sure david will be in the wilderness and say when will my change come the change was in a negotiation between god god already intended in god's mind this is the next king and the king will sit with sheep and say, Oh Lord, when will my breakthrough come? And God will say, The day a priest comes. All of a sudden, the priest agrees and God's will continues moving. A priest refuses and God remains. Moses was wise. He said, Lord, I already know you too well. Don't ever let us go here if your presence... If that I could not go before us, I'm not going, no. Moses said, because my going is as good as wasting my time. I, I, I know what is before us. And he said, my presence will go with you. And I will give you rest. Rest is a gift. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Rest is a gift. My presence will go with you. And I, through my presence, will give you rest. My presence will clear up the spirits. And whatever you do. When you read 2 Chronicles 20, the same thing happened. Three kings came together to defeat the people of God. And all of a sudden, the Bible says, the priests and the musicians were now in front. And they began to sing. You are good and your mercies endure forever. The ark started fighting them. Who is the fool that goes for war with gold in his pocket and silver? And the Bible says all of a sudden they turn. Can you imagine allies together? When the ark starts fighting for you, is fearful. Are we together? Fearful. You are standing close to danger. It never touches you. Before it touches you, something touches it. The priesthood. The people started killing themselves. And the Bible says everyone helped to kill another. That's not a man fighting. That's the ark fighting. And all of a sudden, when the last two were left, he killed one and the ark said, what are you waiting for? And he carried the knife, killed himself. And when the people came, they found gold, they found treasures. When the ark fights, it fights thoroughly. When you fight... If your hand paints you like Moses and start going down, 
you see that they can defeat you but you carry the ark and let it begin to fight they kept the ark and they kept dagon these people brought an entity a god enshrined with spirits called dagon the bible did not show us there were any physical contact by morning dagon fell face forward on the ground the superiority of the presence of god above any enchantment and any ordinance when you see the ordinances that have been enshrined by your cultism and all of these things prevail is because the ark has not been lifted tonight we have come in this place to initiate a system of priesthood over the difficult situations of people to say lord if i want you for a few minutes just suspend the issue of job or whatever whether it is job or the issue of delay it is still the same jericho causing it any part of jericho is still jericho are you hearing what i'm saying the jericho that causes failure is the same jericho that causes barrenness it is still jericho the bible didn't say jericho do you know look at the interesting thing jericho fell flat but the woman who stayed in the fence how god delivered her that she didn't fall flat with it is a mystery we don't understand but the bible tells us everything fell down flat to break every chain 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 is to break every chain break every chain break every listen brothers and sisters we're about to pray but i plead with you in the name of the lord to believe this mystery as simple as it looks and you will watch the wonder in your life stop focusing on physical things you will cheat yourself a thousand times nothing on earth has the ability to stand on its own if anything on earth stands there is a force keeping it There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. Break every chain. To break every chain, break Listen, the type of sword that kills the enemies is not as important when Jericho is down. Anything can bless you when the realm of the spirit is down. Listen. I have seen anointed men and women of God. People I know love God with all their heart. But they can never prevail in ministry. Because they have been fighting physically. They do everything. And sometimes you wonder and say, ah, look how great this brother is. Look how great this sister is. Is there no ear on earth to hear what you carry and honor you for it? Hallelujah. Listen. People make all kinds of gifts for me, as you can imagine. People make all kinds of gifts. And sometimes I see what people do, and I'm shocked. I say, life is so unfair. How can this brother, this sister be this gifted, and yet be begging? And you see someone come out from somewhere, and priesthood goes before him. And in one week, his life has changed. They can even be sarcastic. Priesthood will make them take life for granted. There is a system of ease that God wants to bring to your life. Please hear me. There are families here listening. You have done all you know. Why don't you allow God? Allow the ark come into your home tonight. 
and let it go around Jericho. Allow the ark come into your life tonight. Let it go around Jericho and you will watch that which was dead come alive by itself. Hallelujah. I was told recently about a young man, very nice, wonderful young man who loves God. Everything you know in life, including good things, fight him. And recently, I think something happened. They stole a phone. And the person who stole the phone was within the vicinity of the guy. And he was sitting down. The man kept the phone there. And police came and took two of them together. I got a text. The person sent me a text. And when he narrated everything that was happening, I usually don't call people back. But I was touched. I called him. I said, where are you? He said, Apostle, look at my life. Nothing works. I said, how did you get to the police station? He said that um, they found somebody with phone and carried him. You think that's ordinary? Maybe that young man, breakthrough is coming for him. Another thief from somewhere steals, comes to drop a phone close to you. Does the police not have common sense to probe? And they carry you together because there is a spirit coordinating this it looks like coincidence someone just falls from a chair just a little chair like this and all of a sudden one side of him paralyzes it's a lie it's not that chair that paralyzed him be smart people fell from trees plucking mangoes and they were fine they cleaned their hands and carried the mango and went away you fall from a small chair and paralyzes your leg no a a coincidence navigated the chair was just the scapegoat it's not about the chair tonight we are going to pray before i begin to minister you are going to say satan so you have deceived me through this situation i've been focusing on the situation whereas it is never really about the situation it is about jericho attempting to stand and challenge me i thought it was all about job I thought it was all about marriage. I thought it was all about children. I thought it was all about my background. Now I'm learning that anything would have still caused the same problem, provided Jericho is standing there. But Joshua, gather the priests. Gather the priests. Have a look at those listen look at me i want you in the mind of your spirit look at that job issue look at that issue and say i will no longer be deceived you are not the problem the problem is jericho it is never that the business cannot work it is never that helpers cannot come once jericho is still standing here nothing can go in nothing can come out lift your voice and begin Everywhere on Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Say after me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout it one more time in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tonight. 
tonight, tonight I challenge I challenge the spirits the spirits the ordinances the ordinances the spiritual forces the spiritual forces that are responsible that are responsible for the physical tragedies in my life physical tragedies by, by the mystery of the blood by the mystery of the blood I declare I declare that victory must be established in my life lift your voice and pray Hallelujah. Listen, the Bible tells us, listen, that we have a high priest and that that high priest is a man. The man, Jesus, he qualifies to be a priest, not the spirit, Jesus. The man occupying a priesthood that is higher than the ironic priesthood. The Bible says his priesthood is of a better covenant after the order of Melchizedek. A priesthood with no beginning, a priesthood with no end. That there is that eternal priesthood of Jesus. Listen carefully. We're talking about very deep foundational issues here. Jesus, the man, the priest that took his blood. The Bible tells us that he went to the heavenly tabernacle and poured his blood upon that altar once and for all. Once and for all. The advocacy of that priesthood is superior. Listen. Every enchantment and every divination on earth needs the sun to walk or the moon the bible says down listen without the sun and the moon if god withdraws the sun and the moon every cause every altar dies immediately because every other priesthood on earth or cultic depends on the power of the sun or the moon are we together and so the bible says the sun will no more give you sunlight you will not need it the moon the sun and moon they are important but i'm introducing something jehovah god himself will be the light that sponsors your altar the same way listen listen that men can say we will do the sacrifice by 12 p.m when there is a full moon and they stand and manipulate the the they use geometry and everything to tap the powers of the sun and the moon and god says these things are inferior i come with another priesthood my own self the son of righteousness i am the light are we together i want you to be tired of what is happening in your life and family i tell you the truth when we begin to pray and i begin to minister many of you will see cheap victories cheap victories. amen this is when you will know that this thing is not just about physical efforts do you know brothers and sisters listen let me teach you something for as long as you keep focusing on individual physical problems your frustration continues i can tell you all of them are sponsored by a central force hear me all of them the same electricity is causing this fan to run the same electricity is causing the mic to work if you want a shutdown off the source of the power you can destroy the mic the phone will still work that's what we have come to do tonight a total shutdown then you will find out it was never a financial issue you will find out it was never 
a health issue it was never a promotion issue it was an altar issue it was an ordinance issue pray one prayer before i start ministry lord visit the foundation of every challenge in my life and my family lift your voice and pray everyone that ask it receive it lord visit the foundation why is ministry not working why is my spiritual life dying why am i not growing in the anointing what is the mystery oh god lord why the circle of tragedies one tragedy after another one tragedy hallelujah 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 please just just be silent for a moment i want to start ministering now let's just the lord is giving me instructions just just be silent stand where you are um something is happening inside outside everywhere the lord is showing me something very strange now um let me just describe what i'm seeing i'm seeing something that looks like um this thing people wear what's the name this thing that looks like a um, ladies thing that men wear that that looks like a yes that that thing that's what i'm seeing on many people and the lord is telling me on everyone that i see that thing in there is a very strange deliverance because that i'm hearing hidden glory and i want to pray please you don't don't shout don't do anything just let me flow you start bringing those people out i'm going to pray now for those group of people i'm seeing it because i'm seeing that those people no matter what you do your glory is never seen you will struggle and try but nothing ever happens now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands just silence everywhere father i'm seeing this in the realm of the spirit and tonight is a miracle service from overflow one two three and the main auditorium and those online anyone here that is a victim of this that i see by the power of priesthood i come as an ark bearer an envoy tonight and lord i decree and declare let there be deliverance now right now right now right now bring them out i prophesy i decree and declare many of you will feel that physical fire upon your head i'm praying now physical fire coming upon your head let them go let them go i command liberty they must go i come with the rod of a higher priesthood i decree and declare they must go free Restore their glory now. Jacob's kapatariata and the keta kaskotariataji. Rakato katabalia. Hidden glory. That's what I hear in the spirit. Hidden glory. Hidden glory. There is glory, but covered in Jericho. Covered by the fence of Jericho. Pakapata kato sabra katalia. Everywhere, inside, outside. I'm praying now. Please just be sensitive. Let's let's do what God is directing us to do. Tonight there must be total victory. Total victory. Now I'm praying for families. The anointing of God will come on individuals, but it is for families. It will come on you. Once that anointing comes on you now, know that God is visiting your family. Lord, I pray now. I release the sword the sword of the lord in the name of jesus to every family if there is a family here whose glory has been buried nobody rises where are they i decree and declare now by the anointing of the holy ghost Shakata Barakata. i don't know what altar manipulated the glory of any family here but in the name of jesus the son of the living god 
Matas katabarata siadabata. In the name of Jesus, I command now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let there be emancipation. Emancipation for every family. Hidden glory. Hidden glory. The Bible says the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And then we beheld his glory. The Lord is still touching people. The Lord is still touching people. That's why you came. You have done the listening. Let me pray now. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Something serious is going to happen here now. Now, I want to pray a very serious prayer. The Lord is leading me to pray this prayer. I just had in my spirit altars of poverty. Hold on. Just keep your hands lifted. Father, I'm praying. You spoke to my ears. Altars of poverty. If there is any family here in an ordinance, under that cause, nothing works. There is nothing you do physically to be able to bless the family and support the family that works. In the name of Jesus, I declare right now, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, let there be deliverance now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Altars of poverty. Everywhere overflow one, overflow two, overflow three online. If there be anyone under the sound of my voice whose family is under this siege i decree and declare now your emancipation comes tonight for all of you in front here i speak to the spirits you know my voice in the name of jesus and at the count of three you let them go now. One, two, three. Go, go. Out of them now. Out of every one of their destinies. Out of their lives. Shekatos Kabariata. I invoke a priesthood higher than any ordinance upon their lives. Release their families now. Release their destinies now. You know the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing a vision now you know how it used to be in a slave market that you sell a physical person and collect money that's what i'm seeing in the spirit like people with only trousers sold and money this is exchange of destinies i believe that this is very prophetic let me be honest i know some of you may not believe it but the destiny you are living is not your own a king slaughtered his son so that he will remain alive there are men that exchange destinies they they a king carried his future and said child the death i'm supposed to die you die it there are people like that the destiny god allocated for you you know this is not your life your dreams and your vision so something else in the name of jesus play now lift your hands i declare the spirits that exchange and merchandise the destinies of men by the power of the Holy Ghost at the count of three if there be anyone under the sound of my voice whose destiny has been manipulated I command now at the count of three be set free one, two, three be free now be free now! Be free now! Yeah. 
everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me hallelujah oh sephia 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 like sephia i'm hearing a name sephia who is that please let's let's hurry up there is a lot to do i want us to settle down really pray for the sick sephia who is that her eyes her eyes her eyes your name is sephia how about you madam the lord will locate the person i'm standing here and i'm seeing an angel of the lord touching the person god wants me to speak to her eyes i'll pray for all of you but in the name of jesus christ i deliver this lady now this lady on red i command that spirit that has tied down your life and your glory be gone for you it's over now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus i release you now by the power of the holy ghost by the anointing of the holy spirit be set free right now Sephia, the lord bring liberty liberty now i command those altars to leave you in the name of jesus christ the anointing of the holy ghost bad luck bad luck i take it out of your life the spirit of i'm seeing a lot of bad luck i take it out of your life now release their destinies now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah there is a lady a physical person appeared to you in the room this is a woman whose face you know like a relative physically where is that person please someone uh, you were not dreaming appeared to you and there was a conversation from that day your life never became this please don't be ashamed i want to pray for you please don't waste our time we have a lot to do the lord is ministering to me someone appeared i'm not saying you were in a dream this thing is somewhere you had a conversation with someone physical who is that person i want to pray for you please when you find that person let the person come quickly who is ola i'm hearing a name ola ola i don't know if that's the full name but there's ola ola there's someone with that name ola please don't come out if it's not your name who is this huh your name is ola i want to pray for you look at me rejoice breakthrough has come to your family this lady i'm i'm kai look at the evil and the witchcraft i see over this lady's family all these people are please help me find out why are they here all of them their names are ola interesting come that lady with cap come your salvation has come come this lady with lift your hands over now over now over now calm down madam come i'm seeing what happened yes a woman appeared to me that it shall be never would be able physical physically are you seeing what i'm saying look at this when was that last year may she appeared face to face and tell me it shall never will be able to no matter how whatever you take that you are not feeling fine the medicine will not work and from that hold on from that day something started moving in your body yes. it will move and come to your back and come to your chest area look at this are, are you seeing a swelling here you are seeing this a woman appears to her i prophesy to someone here jacques koto parakatia anyone in fraternity with the realm of darkness over your life i curse those people now i curse those people now i curse those people now by the anointing of the holy ghost 
madam i deliver you now in the name of jesus christ be set free now in the name of jesus the living and the dead don't have anything in common in the name of jesus the lord is speaking to me there are some of you all you see is dead people all you see is no matter a bulk of your sleep is encounter with dead people i'm prophesying lift your hands the anointing of the spirit is coming on such people now in the name of jesus if there is anyone here in strange encounters with the dead by the fire of the holy ghost i command a separation now the spirit of hades i speak to you the spirit of hades christ has triumphed over you oh death take away your sting take away your sting hallelujah there are a number of you here i presume you are all ola including this gentleman on wheelchair that's your son that's your brother what happened to him what happened to him accident since when 2015 and he paralyzed you you can't move now oh dear we are going to pray for the sick but i want to pray for ola now just just stand bring for me the person i'm seeing like a sword coming on one of you now aside from this lady there is there is an anointing coming on one of you let me speak to that one person right now i'm seeing a closed door this is someone's destiny it looks like i'm holding the air but i'm seeing that i'm holding a padlock in the spirit whose destiny is that among these people standing open 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 now i command that destiny open open now open now open now open now in the name of jesus hallelujah you came alone hold on hold on hold on don't worry i'll pray for the sick sir if i'm if i don't talk are you alas sir no don't don't come out until i ask you this is witchcraft you would have died since last year june yes sir it's god that kept you i will pray for you i've seen your case already if i don't pray for you in three months you will not be walking again this is stroke what is wrong with you yes all my body this is what i'm saying i'm seeing three months and you're on the bed not to rise again we have to pray this is witchcraft in the name of jesus christ i want to pray for you come my dear this lady i'm seeing a very beautiful lady in the physical in the realm of the spirit i'm seeing an old woman hold my hands what fellowship the exchangers of destiny i hold the hands of this lady and i declare right now in the name of jesus let there be a restoration a very beautiful girl in the physical but i'm seeing the face of an old woman be free now in the name of jesus i command the power of the holy ghost upon your life i command that your destiny be restored your destiny be restored in the name of jesus christ for all of you standing here my, my brother this gentleman come what's your name what do you do what do you do i'm a printer sir. you are a what printer printer nothing is working in your life i need to pray for you in the name of jesus christ i pray by the anointing of the holy spirit i break this embargo i see upon your hand in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ this row i'm seeing deliverance chicken feather that's what i'm seeing chicken feather this is an ordinance over a family just this row i stretch my hands now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands let there be emancipation right now in the name of jesus christ let there be emancipation right now in the name of jesus christ all right mama i know that it's not time to pray but i want to pray for you please come madam you came alone let her come you came alone Yes, so one of my son friend brought me here 
when you are talking, everything you say is just about as if you are. Where, where did you together. come from? I come from uh, Samaru. From but, Samaru. Um, Basawa. No problem, Mama. Yes, I, I want to pray for you because of something I've Thank seen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Say after me. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The suffering. The suffering. The sorrow. The sorrow. In my life. In my life. Must end. Must end. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I will eat. I will eat. The fruit of my labor. The fruit of my labor. Father, by her confession, Amen. let her be free now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that captivity is over. I pray for all of you now. In the name of Jesus. My dear, don't be embarrassed, eh? Be careful with men. Come. I'm seeing somebody really destroying your life. Don't be embarrassed, eh? You are here. We love you. We don't condemn people, but be careful. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. The deception and the wickedness of evildoers. I pray for you now. Every captivity in our last family, whether male or female, as I stretch my hands over you, I command that it leaves you now. It leaves your family now. I say it again, it leaves you now. It leaves your family now. In the name of Jesus. For the last time now, an anointing will come on you. It leaves you now. It leaves your family now. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Please go back to your seat. Go back to your seat. Go back to your seat. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands, everybody. Gentlemen, when it's time to pray for the sick, we'll pray for you. Huh? Just be patient. Please help him so that he doesn't strain himself. All of you lift your hands. One scripture and there is fire to deliver the oppressed now. Why are you here, my dear? You are with him? Oh, is your daddy. What? Okay. Since then, there is something that has been working on his body. Like you had an slave. accident? Yes, sir. Okay, and what happened? And since then, something has been working on his body, on his stomach, like snake. At times, the thing will... Are you seeing what I'm saying? So it was never about accident, you see. Accident was just the condition that made this happen. I saw three months stroke hitting this man and him not standing up from the bed again. But the Lord would destroy it, eh? Just be patient. We want to pray now. Let me show you one scripture and then we'll pray exodus chapter 15 quickly please 6 to 11 exodus 15 we're going to do a quick walk we need to cast out wicked devils out of lives and families thy right hand O lord is become glorious in power thy right hand O lord has dashed into pieces the enemy next verse to 11 and in the greatness of thy excellency Thou hast overthrown them that rose up against thee. Thou sentest forth thy wrath, which consumed them as trouble. And with the blast of thy nostrils, the waters were gathered together. The flood stood up right as an heap, and the depths were congealed in the heart of the sea. To 11. The enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide the spoil. My lust shall be satisfied upon them. I will draw up my sword. My hand shall destroy them. Next verse. Thou didst blow with thy wind. And the sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty water. Who is like unto thee, O God, among the gods? Who is like unto thee? Glorious in holiness, comma, fearful in praises doing not delivering doing wonders that's what you're about to see now lift your hands he said i will pursue i will overtake my lust my desire will fall upon the people of god i want to pray listen deliverance is not just about falling down and rolling up and down is 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 bringing the anointing of the spirit to bring a parting, a separation. The Bible says the river separated Tether and Hither. Separation to allow you move. I want to pray. Are you ready now? Remember that after they moved the seventh time, it was a shout, the healer. A shout, not just any shout, a shout that was sent like a word. And the Bible says the walls of Jericho fell down flat. 
that shout is what you are about to do but let me issue a command in the spirit in the name of jesus christ the one whom i serve and whose i am in the name of jesus i declare over every force in the spirit the covenants and the ordinances of darkness that have held the lives of god's people as they shout this shout wherever they are i command those spirits he said when they hear my voice they will run out of their hiding i command not only an exposition but a total separation are you ready to shout jesus at the count of three one two three in the name of jesus i command that fire to fall every power every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment go now go now go now every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment be free now hold on hallelujah i usually don't do this until i'm directed hallelujah i usually see pillars of fire standing by my left and right i just want to pass through you don't have to touch me except it is not god that has called this meeting if there is a force and a spirit it must be exposed as i pass you in the name of jesus thank you father i decree and declare right now by the anointing of the holy ghost every power every force every power every force every power every force you must go now now by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus as i pass you that anointing like fire is coming upon you to set you free be free now free now free now free now in the name of jesus be free now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ those of you outside lift your hands lift your hands i'm going to pass here right now the anointing of the spirit is going to begin to come upon you are you ready now thank you jesus you don't have to touch me just just allow me pass be careful be careful father in jesus name let it be over now there is fire now that fire is moving all across now in the name of jesus ordinances be broken now i'm seeing fire just around here where my hands are in the name of jesus let there be freedom now let there be freedom now let there be freedom now be free now let it be over now 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 in the name of jesus christ be free now in the name of jesus as i'm passing close to you an anointing is causing every power let them go the spirit of the lord is telling me to stand here right now in jesus name let there be deliverance now let there be deliverance now from every force of darkness every force of every force of darkness be free now i came here because i know that there are so many of you look the crowd in this place i want to pray for you i'm standing here my god look at the oppression that i see just standing here i'm about to pray right now and from the front to the back from the left to the right i want all of you to shout jesus something is leaving people already are you ready now your destiny must be open please don't take it for granted bring them out now at the count of three overflow three one two three be free now be free now in the name of jesus i command my god please help them jesus christ look what is happening here from the front to the back right now anyone here under the siege of darkness be free now be free now help them be 
free now. Lift your hands over flow three. I'm praying for you. Are you ready to shout Jesus again? There are many of you, you try to move forward, but the force keeps holding you. As you shout Jesus now, you're going to see something leave you. Are you ready? Father, all those who have been held captive, I declare that as they shout Jesus, let your fire of deliverance come upon them. One, two, three. I release you now. I release you now. I release you now. Go forward. I release you now. Delay broken. I release you now. I release you now. I release you now. I release you now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen. I'm going to pray for everybody. But the Lord is saying there are some of you here. The call of God is upon your life. But there are altars fighting you. I'm about to release you. Oh God, I'm seeing 17. 1, 7. Where are they, oh God? Right now, to the back. Where are they? They have the call of God. But an altar of darkness. Tying down their lives. Mata soto pakariakata. Be free now. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. Look up, please. There are 11 of you. The Lord is saying it is you that you will use to help your family. And the anointing, that anointing, of that Joseph's anointing to distinguish you is coming on 11 people. Lord, where are they? To the back. Right to the back. That anointing, a destiny is rising. No, even if you are the last born. I decree and declare let that anointing find you now let that anointing find you now the joseph anointing the joseph anointing that will cause you to save your brethren hallelujah please lift your hands overflow three it's not about falling down although there are several things happening here but i want you to just focus the last prayer I want to pray for you. Many of you will be surprised what happens to you. Listen. I'm seeing keys. Like a key that was missing. Some of you were once. You were destined for certain things. And the devil veered off your life. And as it is right now. The treasure that God gave you. You have lost it. As I pray for you. That restoration anointing is coming upon you. Some of you is anointings. Some of you is business connections. Lord, where are they? At the count of three. Let that fire come. Shout Jesus at the count of three. One, two, three. Receive that grace now. Restoration, fire, fire, fire. Shake up butter. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Great grace. Great grace. Great grace. Great grace. New season. New season. Mama, look at me. It's over. Over. Forever. Over. 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 He's going to use you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please everyone pray in the spirit. 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 Please pray in the spirit. Please pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Overflow one, pray in the spirit. 
Shala barokatosi ya namalakasi. Shapra katu celebrate tipi alama. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Overflow one, I want to minister to you now. Listen. Please, I want you to believe everything. I want to pray for you. Lift your hands, all of you. There are some of you here, as I'm looking, I'm just seeing chains. I want to pray at the count of three. I didn't come to waste your time. Right now, that chain is going to lift people now. Anyone here under the sound of my voice, and there is a chain of darkness overflow one. I declare at the count of three right now, let that chain be broken. One, two, three. I command that chain be broken now. Help them, please. Be broken now. To the back. Shakasko Pariata. Zato Zesekateriakata. Be broken, broken. Fire is coming. I'm seeing fire moving across the crowd. In the name of Jesus Christ, I break every force, every yoke of darkness. Hallelujah. Are you pregnant? Come. I'm seeing an evil spirit. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go. By the anointing of the spirit. I release the destiny of this baby. You will not lose this baby. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help her. This lady praying in tongues. In the name of Jesus Christ. The grace. For dreams and visions. The Lord is releasing it upon you pray for dreams and visions hallelujah now i'm going to walk across this crowd please i just want you to release your faith release your faith and receive something now as i walk through i'm seeing altars and they are living right now thank you jesus father let there be deliverance right now right now right now right now right now let that fire as i move oh god let the angel of your presence move let there be deliverance it is over that's what the lord says to you over now in the name of jesus christ over 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 shabbos katai sheketes kalabra katozi atakata over now in the name of jesus over by the anointing of the holy ghost it is over please believe as i'm passing you don't don't worry the anointing of god will locate you over now in the name of jesus christ let it be over now now over your life let it be over i'm seeing fire moving here like this who is that fire for in jesus name i stretch my hands let there be deliverance right now supernatural deliverance right now supernatural deliverance right now mama be free now in the name of jesus christ supernatural deliverance um i'm seeing a circle here and the lord is saying restoration of ministerial anointing a circle lord where are they there are people here at least four of you i stretch my hands let the anointing locate you the call for ministry the call for ministry the call Parakato Sedekatoshia. enter enter that level that's what i hear in the spirit enter enter that dimension enter that dimension enter that dimension enter that dimension in the name of jesus christ hallelujah who is is it victory or victoria i'm hearing a name like a victory or victoria who is that please very quickly want to pray for the sick now it's like you are wearing something like blue blue who is that person what's your name madam yes sir this is your first time here no sir. you've been coming madam look at me god is going to change your story completely. amen i don't know you but yes. the lord is saying he's bringing breakthrough amen amen hold my hands look at me there is bad luck on your life my dear good things come but they never stay and the lord is saying to take it away right now be free in the name of jesus i take away that spirit from your life I set you free to move forward in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Can we go in? Who is Victoria again? All the victories of Victoria be made free right now in Jesus' name. Can we go in from here? Everyone open your mouth and begin to pray. Prophesy. Say, in the name of Jesus, I'm breaking forth spiritually. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's a new level for me. 
it's a new level for me enter a new dimension enter a new dimension now in the name of jesus lift your hands i'm passing here now there is an anointing move move to the next level i'm prophesying to everybody standing here within the vicinity of this anointing step into a new dimension i release that grace now i release that grace now i stretch my hands everything that has held you down let it leave you now in the name of jesus my god look at this are you seeing the legs are rotting completely in the name of jesus be free now i command be free now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ look at me my dear go home and write it good news comes for me in 12 days lord lose their destinies i'm standing here and I'm, there is an anointing let the destiny be open now open now in the name of jesus christ i'm standing here and i'm hearing i have called you accept my call accept my call accept my call accept my call my call is upon your life my call is upon your life stop fighting my call is upon your life that's what the spirit of god is saying my call is upon your life accept my call my call is upon your life my mandate is upon your life my mandate is upon your life that's what god is speaking my mandate is upon your life you cannot fight it it's an ordinance decided from heaven my mandate is upon your life light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle pastor lawrence speed come where is where is your wife to be come come two of you I see a grace for speed lift your hands enter that dimension now I release that grace speed to your life the Lord is taking away delay go and mark it you are entering a strange level I see you climbing a ladder and the Lord is saying it's time for your glory it's time for your glory light me Lord light me Lord light me Lord collect that child quickly from Kenny collect that child speed that grace collect that child in the name of jesus i'm seeing that grace a new dimension of speed coming upon your life a new level of speed coming upon your life a new level of speed hallelujah hmm. i'm seeing something for you i'm seeing please stand up i'm seeing a bottle of oil and I'm seeing dollars, a bottle of oil and dollars, these two dimensions, the spirit and supernatural resources, that grace, the Lord is multiplying it. I'm seeing a bottle, a bottle of oil, a bottle of oil. The Lord is giving you a voice, not only in the area of finances, but a strange demonstration of the spirit. Please be patient. We are going to pray for the sick, but tonight I, I perceive God is doing something strange. Young man, come. Come. You and this guy, two of you, come stand. Step into a new dimension. New dimension. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same. This guy, just lift your hands where you are. Come. Enter a new level in the spirit. I release that grace now upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm looking at people. And I'm seeing something rising from your stomach to your throat. And the Lord is saying, is the spirit of prophecy. Lord, I'm declaring right now. It's happening to people right now. It will come upon you like a mantle. Prophecy. 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 From your belly. From your belly. Prophecy. I command those rivers. Makato sakata. 
rivers of living water rivers 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 in the name of jesus christ this lady come you come quickly there is a grace the call of god is upon your life enter that dimension of his grace may the lord give you visitations 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 I bring you out of the cage that I see you in. I bring you out of the cage. I bring you out of the cage. I see you inside a cage. I bring you out of the cage. In the name of Jesus, by fire, I bring you out. I bring you out. Ancestry will not fight you. I bring you out of the cage. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are soon going to pray for the sick. Where's, where's your wife? Where is she? The Lord is saying the powers will fight no more. Come. The powers will fight no more. 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 There are ordinances fighting this family. I see it in the spirit. The powers will fight no more. In the name of Jesus, victory is established. The powers will fight no more. The powers will fight no more. The powers will fight no more. In the name of Jesus, I need to step into a new level of the prophetic that has always been there. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shalabarakatos. This usher lady, come in the name of Jesus Christ. You will begin to see things before they happen. That's what the Lord is saying. I should tell you, God is putting something in your eyes. You will see things. Shata Sotosha, Marie Katos, Kobaria Kata. You will see things before they happen in the name of Jesus with precision, with precision, and with accuracy with precision with precision with precision and with accuracy where are these people that just married this lady welfare where is she now you and your wife where are they she's not around stand up let me pray for you on her behalf in the name of jesus christ i'm praying for your mother let the lord perfect her but i'm praying for you something wants to take finances off your life if i don't pray for you i see great suffering in the days coming it's like finance just dries up to the point that even your basic needs you cannot meet but i cancel it right now by the anointing of the holy spirit i cancel it right now in the name of jesus this fair lady an angel is pouring oil on your head that's what i'm seeing right now an angel is pouring oil on your head breakthrough step into a new dimension step into a new level in the name of jesus christ a new level a new level in the name of jesus christ wato where is she is she here i'm seeing a flag being raised up and the lord is saying it's a new season i'm seeing a flag being raised up in the spirit the lord is announcing you i'm declaring let that anointing come upon you a new season let that flag be raised in the name of jesus let that flag be raised you will never never be down let that flag be raised in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ we're going to pray for the sick let's just flow god you know sometimes this is this lady you come yes say for my shame say it for my shame i receive double the lord is taking me to a new level and i receive it i lay my hands upon you in the name of jesus the grace for a new level is released upon you right now i command it so i declare it so in jesus name i pray this gentleman you come 
confusion ends now in your life i lay my hands upon you i command confusion to end right now from your life in the name of jesus confusion ends now over your life forever in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ confusion ends over your life in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing i will, I will prophesy generally but i'm seeing a family having the breakthrough of a new car and an anointing I'm, 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 it may not look like it's necessary for you but i'm seeing an anointing locating that family now this is this is a, a blessing of a car you will stand and testify i don't care whether the resources are there or not i stretch my hands let that anointing make it happen in the name of jesus christ let that anointing by the spirit make it happen right now help that person please let that anointing make it happen right now in the name of jesus make it happen cameraman come i want to pray for you look at me it will surprise you the kind of favor you will start walking in amen you believe what i'm saying lift your hands father let this brother drink of the grace for favor a fresh dimension a fresh dimension a fresh dimension of favor in the name of jesus christ this lady you come the lord is saying i'm rolling away reproach from your life everything that looks like reproach i lay my hands upon you i'm literally feeling like there are holes on your head and the anointing is going through i command reproach go and never return from her life in the name of jesus christ now we're going to pray for the sick please we're going to be very fast we're going to be very fast listen to me if you have any cancer related issue or barrenness whether you are in overflow one two or three i will want to pray for you by myself otherwise overflow one um, um in the main auditorium i want you to come out over all the overflows just come to the front stand up stand up come to the front of your projector stands quickly please come to the front of your projector stands for god's sake not to embarrass you but look at this woman's leg look at this look at this doctor look at this is this sickness look at how the whole leg is rotting already please quickly you're sick in your body come quickly stand if the people cannot move just keep them where they are or bring them close so that you don't um are we together now we're going to pray it will be very fast because our time is gone we want to finish on time the devil is a wicked person for these kinds of oppression are we together there are so many people in overflow tree and uh, god will grant grace pastor lawrence come you will join them today when our backs were against the wall and it looked as if it was over you hallelujah father in the name of jesus by the corporate anointing we pray these people have come expecting to be healed expecting to be touched i pray that your anointing will visit them right now in the name of jesus overflow one overflow two overflow three let there be a release of the corporate grace right now in the name of jesus christ we're free now in the name of jesus christ what's wrong with you my dear Huh? fracture where how long where is the leg it can't move and your hand don't worry it's okay and your legs lord jesus please walk help this lady miracle, jesus. in the name of jesus walk my miracle here i release today. that anointing upon you right walk now my i correct your jesus. body now hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah 
please stretch your hands here and begin to pray in the spirit if they are still praying for you outside just just continue please if your request is yet to come here you can quickly wave it wave it and let the ushers have it and bring it here quickly stretch your hands stretch your hands by faith believing that god will visit you don't don't stretch your hands out of unbelief if there are requests here to come please let them come here quickly please bring them quickly shabakato soprakato baladabash unto you that answers prayers oh god shall all flesh come rakato sodo brendege barakato shabradiski labaria enda kato sata prakato jalabaria kato brendege degodos please pray you are praying in the spirit you are connecting lord we are believing that we will not have to write this again be serious about it make sure you are connected by faith shakato kaparakato barikata sipiada balarabash Shakata parakata paroto subriash. Lord, arise in majesty. Arise in your power. Visit the case of people. Change impossible situations. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shata prakato barakato barikatekate. Shalekate prandakata barakatosh. Eketoka parokata bariataba. Lord, let this be the last time they will write this. In the name of Jesus Christ, let this be the last time they will write this. In the name of Jesus, let this be the last time. Shabakata pakata 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 pakata. Endeketo rakato shada pragada baladaba. Lord, we believe in you. Arise, O God of heaven. Arise, O God of heaven. Arise, O God of heaven. Visit your people. Arise, O God of heaven. Visit your people. Shabakata parada baroto soto predegate legata kato prandegate presha de bele de bosh. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Please respond with a resounding amen in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, this is not a ritual. I stand on behalf of your people, Lord. These requests represent different dimensions of demonic jerichos standing between them and the place of destiny father as i step upon this let this be symbolic of the ark going around jericho yeah. hallelujah listen you're going to shout jesus we're going to shout jesus seven times are we together as a prophetic act over this i'm going to guide you and you will shout it for every one shout let it represent one day going around jericho that at the seventh time we are agreeing together that no matter what the issue is if you don't believe you will never never see the salvation of god but for believers you'll be surprised father that you hearken to this prophetic act i know god i stand leading your people as we shout that name the name of our high priest who has been exalted above the ironic priesthood above any kind of priesthood are you ready now i will call the number and you shout jesus are you ready number one number two Crumbling every mountain. Number three. Shabakoto Sopataya. Makrotoba. I tell you, I feel the fire of God as we're shouting this Jesus. Number four. Number five. Number six. I put an anointing on this seven shout let this be the shout that crumbles every mountain in the name of Jesus number seven I decree and declare unto you 
prepare for strange testimonies in the name of jesus christ some of you even before you get to your homes or where you came from you will meet it waiting for you like a messenger in the name of jesus christ hallelujah please lift your hands let's take the prophecy and then we'll round up every shame and reproach that has lingered in your life shame and reproach some of you is a pattern across your family members in the name of jesus christ i command shame and reproach be rolled over your life forever be rolled over your life forever be rolled over your life forever hallelujah i release over your life supernatural grace for speed in life supernatural grace for speed in life supernatural grace for speed in life hallelujah i decree and declare that every garment he saw joshua the high priest and he said to remove that garment every garment you are wearing that is attracting bad luck attracting all kinds of things the bible says to give them a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness i tear off that garment from your life i tear off that garment from your life garment of reproach i tear it off from your life i tear it off from your life in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare divine direction lord what do i do where do i go to tonight by dreams and visions and strange encounters i provoke divine direction to come to your direction in the name of jesus christ master we have toiled all night but i prophesy to you go back this time around to the same place you failed i anoint you go and succeed i anoint you go and succeed i anoint you go and surpass the ordinary in the name of jesus christ every door that has refused to open your parents tried it refused to open the bible says lift up your heads oh ye gates and be ye lifted oh ye not doors ancient doors i come against every ancient door and every gate swing open now in the name of jesus swing open now in the name of jesus swing open now in the name of jesus every helper that must arise tonight not tomorrow tonight every helper ordained by god to rise up and come to your aid i provoke favor towards you from them i provoke favor towards you from them i provoke favor towards you from them listen whoever has what it takes to help you in the name of jesus i direct their eyes to you i say it again whoever has what it takes to help you i direct their hearts to you the same mystery that bound jonathan and david i declare wherever your helper is let it be as it were for jonathan and david in the name of jesus christ all those in ministry here i prophesy to you a strange unction upon the work on your hands step into a new direction step into a new dimension in the name of jesus christ every family here that has cried that's all you've known to do cry and cry and say when will god deliver us i declare that your weeping has endured enough i prophesy your morning comes and with it joy in the name of jesus christ those writing exams let the mercy of god the mercy that helped those who went before you 
may that same mercy speak for you may that same mercy speak for you may that same mercy speak for you hallelujah there are people here you are sensing that your spiritual life is dry it's not like you don't love god but revelations they don't come as they used to come again sometimes you open your bible you cannot even read to pray you are sensing something is wrong it's like you know your spiritual life is under attack in the name of jesus christ i launch you to the new a new insight a new dimension of encounter a new dimension of encounter a new dimension of encounter the lord will open your eyes to not only listen to teachings but to get the spirit of the message there are some of us the devil has cheated us by allowing our prayer altar go down in the name of jesus tonight let fire from heaven fall upon your prayer life let the quickening of the spirit fall upon your prayer life every wrong friend in your life whether you want them to go or not in the name of jesus for the sake of god's hand upon your life i separate you with them forever this night i separate you with them forever time wasters destiny wasters i cause a separation between you and them forever we're rounding up some of us here are plagued with the spirit of laziness spiritual laziness mental laziness physical laziness the bible says a lazy hand a slothful hand will that a one that deals with a slothful hand will beg he will become poor i decree and declare the spirit of productive diligence not just diligence the spirit of productive diligence i release it upon you right now are you ready to receive favor i will continue to pray favor upon your life until it works i decree and declare in the name of jesus christ even if you have seen favor in your life by the grace of god i release you to a new order of favor a new order of favor a new order of favor favor is not when you have money favor is when men arise by god to meet your needs if you have money and men don't come to your life you are not favored you are only prosperous you are not favored favor is when men arise that before you call they come they don't come and go they come and stay until the purposes of god have been achieved i call them now from the east the west the north and the south help us of your destiny may they appear before you in the name of jesus christ I don't know what personal request you desire from God but I release my faith with you and I declare that by miracle service may you will only return rejoicing over that issue in the name of Jesus Christ anyone here trusting God for a good job not just a job that you look like a slave a job with honor in the name of Jesus I agree with you between now and next miracle service may god bless you with a job that will launch you to a new dimension everyone in business here the god factor the favor factor the help factor the ebenezer factor i release it upon your business i release it upon your field of endeavor in the name of jesus christ the Bible says, where thou hast been rejected so that no man will pass through you. It says, I will make you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. I decree and declare, may your gates be continually open. Now, I want to pray a prayer that may be very strange for some of us. I want to pray that somebody will give you money. Listen hold on listen 
We are not money mongers. This is not some carnal thing. There are some of you, this is what you need. You don't need advice. You don't need counseling. You just need help. Straight help. I pray for you. You will be surprised. It will look like a dream. I pray for you. Not a helper, not access. Thank God for it. But a helper that will come with the financial resource to help you. I stretch my hands and I release it upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The anointing for miracles. Help that guy. The anointing for signs. The anointing for wonders. Whether you are called in ministry or not. In the name of Jesus. May you carry it in your spirit. From today, begin to reproduce a new order of signs and wonders. And finally, I pray for you. Whatever needs to be done for your family members to rejoice in the Lord between now and the next 30 days, whatever needs to be shaken, whatever needs to be overturned, in the name of Jesus Christ, joy for your family members. Joy to your family members. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be so. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for every, for every worker here. In the name of Jesus Christ. After tonight rise with a new level of evidence become a testament not just a testament of a believer in christ but a testament that you belong to this spiritual family the grace to prove it let it be released upon you in the name of jesus whoever fights you may he find himself fighting himself whoever fights your family may they fight themselves they will point the knife at you and hurt themselves in the name of jesus christ dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua salmon and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.